There's been a lot of vaccine hesitancy, especially for newer vaccines. That's right. Doctors say more patients are asking questions about vaccines since the start of COVID, particularly which ones to give your children. A Carrie is breaking down those numbers and talks to a doctor about it. Yeah, the CDC has this map to show vaccine hesitancy by different counties. So you can see over here, Cherokee County, it's about 15%, Spartanburg, 14%, Greenville, Greenville County, 13%. Most of them are around that percentage. And one Anderson County doctor says that she really wants to reassure her patients about vaccines that have been around for decades. Hey guys, how you doing today? Pediatrician Deandra Clark is checking in on her patient, nine-year-old John Nowitzki. And so I heard school is going good. He is at the age now where he is eligible for the human papillomavirus vaccine, which protects against multiple cancers. Esophageal cancer, throat cancer, colon cancer, rectal cancer, vulvar cancer, vaginal cancer, and, um, and cervical cancer. Dr. Clark says the vaccine has been around for 20 years. It's been given to millions of people at this point, and it has been proven to be effective in including in decreasing the incidence of cervical cancer for our female patients. Ashley Nowitzki admits she had some hesitancy herself when her child had a bad rash after getting the flu vaccine. And it made me a little worried about him continuing getting it, getting other vaccines as well. And at the time, we found out it was just when he got it, he was getting a virus on top of it. So it, it, you know, of course, being a mom, I did have my questions and doubts. Make sure you're doing your medicine. But after talking with Dr. Clark, she feels more confident about the HPV vaccine. It's important to lower his risks and hopefully prevent from him not having cancer at any time. It's one of many vaccines Clark says people have had their doubts about. What people forget is measles killed 2,000 people a year before the measles vaccine. I think some parents think, well, if my child gets it, they'll build immunity and, you know, that's how they'll fight it. Uh, what do you say to that? Um, that the vaccines are safer than a natural infection, especially something like measles, where measles causes encephalitis. It causes an infection in your brain. I'd rather them be vaccinated than go through the illness. To me, the illness is a lot worse than actually getting vaccined and and Dr. Clark says if you have any concerns about a certain vaccine, just make sure to talk to your local doctor about it. Now, is it safe to take with other vaccines, this HPV? Yeah, she said that most kids actually have the tetanus booster with the HPV vaccine. So okay. that is something that you can get in combination at the same time, kind of get them done with. Um, she also said that you can have the flu vaccine in conjunction with it as well. It seems a lot of them you can get at the same time nowadays, yeah. for the most yeah. part. If, that's, if you're okay with that. But, right. Um, but yeah, definitely the tetanus one is one that they recommend with it because it's a booster shot that you're supposed to get within a certain amount of time. Okay.